Hi guys, welcome to another episode of Dark Souls 2. And uh, I was told that I have to defeat the the one boss that basically kicked my ass, but I, they, they told me I have to parry him. So getting a shield like this, that's capable of parrying pretty well, is probably the best way to go. I think this is what he said. Uh, making parrying a lot easier. Okay, so I have to use that one. So that's what it's for. So it's, not, it's gonna be a little bit tricky to to do it. I still do okay, well. So apparently I have to do it. I have to do it this way. It seems kind of dumb because <laughs> uh, I told myself I wasn't gonna use a shield. But I guess you wouldn't really call your, you wouldn't really call this a shield, I guess. But uh, yeah, travel. Hmm, this one? I just hope I remember where it's at because it's been a bit. It's been a, it, it's been a good second since I've played. Uh, all Night Shield. Oh. Okay, um. I just hope I remember where it's at. You'll know if I don't remember where it's at because uh, I'll, I'll be cutting. Um this way right there we go is it this way no man I hate that I should have practiced parry though while I was I was doing that okay I probably will in a second Uh, this way, right? <laughs> oh, man. Kind of sucks. Oops, wrong item. I do have again. The shield's not. It's not great, but I should learn how to use it. Oh, I thought he came from the stairs. Let's see. Oh, that's great. Okay, well, I'm not that far. Yeah, it's not a good start. Uh, again, like I said before, this game feels a little clunky. <laughs> I don't remember having this much trouble in Dark Souls 1. Sorry about the noise. It's uh, Christmas Eve and fireworks are going off. Also, I know that I could use a... A human effigy to recover my health to 100%. So, I do, I, I do know that. Oh, that is annoying. I tried to see if I could run past them. I couldn't. See, I hate that. Like, if they, if they catch you, like, you can't even, like, block from it. Or, like, dodge. Or, like, roll from it, you know? That's why I was like, man, I should just, like, two-hand it. I should use a human effigy pretty soon. I'm dying quite a bit. Okay, so this is where I got... She's like, man, movement's so weird. Royal Greatsword. Oh, cool. oh no, what the? Place sucks. Maybe I should use the that, like that enemy I know can like basically one shot my ass. So let's use it. Let's go. 
humanity restored. Yeah, okay, so it does heal me all the way. I, I gotta find more of these Estus Chuggies. Because, uh, this ain't gonna cut it, right? <laughs> I knew that was gonna happen. I gotta hit the wall. Bam! Item. Oh, the armor. Oh, nice. Although, I kind of doubt I need it. Oh, really? They did warn me about the hitboxes. So, like, I, I, I do know that there's a hitbox issue. Man, the parry is like. The parry feels so weird in this game. <laughs> okay, let's just go. Dead. You know what? Let's just go. Okay, so I have to parry him in front of that ballista. Basically, that's the that's the whole gist of it. Whoa! I'm dead. Ah, <sighs> parrying sucks. Boxes suck. Damn. Yeah, this uh, this ain't gonna end so well. Oh, that is so bull. Nah, this sucks. Ah. Oh. Hmm. Oh, I'm sorry. I was just <clears throat> daydreaming, I think. Here? My name is Kale. I'm a traveler like yourself. Mhm. Mm I'm navigating the continent to create a map. That's pretty cool. Why cartography, you ask? I Well, that's a good question. When I first came into this forsaken land, it was um, uh, mm -hmm. uh, a curse. Uh, something about a curse. <laughs> How embarrassing! I seem to have lost my focus. Hmm. But I do know one thing for certain: I have always been very fond of maps. I came to this land some time ago. Drangling, the lost kingdom. It sounded so romantic. Have you seen Majula? Oh, there's a rather spacious mansion there. Oh. I nice made locked. it my temporary home. Well, as something of a squatter, I'm afraid. Oh, so it's not your house. Inside the mansion, I found a strange map. Like none I'd ever seen. Mm hmm I believe that it's a map of Dren Lake. Now I'm traveling the land to prove it. Are you gonna... Yes. Yes, that's it. That's why I came to the kingdom. Wait. No. No. That wasn't it. Then what? I don't seem to recall. Okay. Were you looking for that map? Yeah, well, you well, not really, Wonderful. but... Then you are fascinated by maps, just like me. Not really, but you brought it up. Shame on you. You should have told me before. Here, take this. A key to the mansion. Nice. What a joy to meet a kindred spirit out here. Incredible, really, isn't it? Such a map to be chiseled in stone. Oh, I haven't seen it yet, but... Oh, but one thing. Uh-huh. 
I would not venture deep into the mansion. I can't be certain, but I've heard disturbing noises. Something about it feels wrong. Just be careful, please. Yeah, at least you're warning me. I guess I could uh, count that as a plus. Well, I got a key. <sighs> Time to go back. I took a break from the pursuer because he was a uh, a little bit too much. <laughs> As to where I'm at, I'm, I'm actually <clears throat> right where the giant root is to take me up there. And uh, that's where I m met Pete. Was that his name? Pete? Or Pete? Pete? Yeah, that's where I met that one dude. And uh, all I did is just, all I did just drop down. I didn't do anything special. So I was, I was wondering what this area was down here. This, like, houses. I wonder if I can go down that way. One thing I noticed though is that like, I take a, I take, I, I don't take a lot of damage, or not as yet, but like, if I drop off like, even a, uh, like a small drop that wouldn't injure me in Dark Souls 1, injures me quite a bit on this game, so, it's kind of weird. I have to look into that, maybe, something that's off, it's like right here, oh god. Oh, no, I can't die here. Oh, God. Yeah, the game does feel a little clunky. I'll say that. Um, you know what I'll do? I'll use a homework bone. Yeah, let's go back. The game feels clunky. Again. I'm going to try to finish it. So that I can get my honest opinion on it. Because I'm not just going to like judge it right away. And, like Again, I have seen people judge this game pretty harshly. But I'm not going to do it until... Until I see everything that's been going on. So... I'm going to head back to Medulla. Again, the reason why I just stopped is because like, I ran out of like those items. For healing. I don't, I don't like relying on those items at all. But... I think I need to increase my... Adaptability a little bit more because... <laughs> yeah. Anyways, <laughs> the adaptability stuff because uh, I don't think it's high enough for Thank what I need. You <laughs> oh god. Anyways, uh, the mansion. Again, I don't think my agility is fast enough. But, like I still take quite a bit. Of, uh, it's low. It's way slower than in Dark Souls One, and I used to complain about it. Again, I apologize for the noise. It is uh, New Year's Eve, so it's just uh, hopefully it's not so loud tomorrow. <laughs> There's a lot of books. These are very large books. I guess they're not. I guess they're called tomes. Look at that one. Oh, it's not in here. Pharaoh's is lockstone. Oh, is that what I needed for that one place? Yeah, yeah, he was right. You could hear something here. He said not to venture too far into the mansion. Nothing. Also, the door, I think I mentioned this in a previous video. I feel like the durability in the weapons is really bad. But the durability does... Uh, like, the durability of the weapons, I don't, I don't need to use, like, an item to replenish it. It just does it on its own. So that's a plus, I guess. I just have to rest at a bonfire. But it does kind of like force you to go find a bonfire often. Item. Titanite shard and torch. Nice. Uh, this just takes me outside. This is just the secondary entrance. Oh, what is that? Nothing? No illusionary wall? Apparently, I can just roll into the illusionary walls in this game, and it's, uh, it just unlocks them, and I have to like hit every wall. That's good to know. Mm, okay, he said not to venture too deep inside here. To say, no. Is this the map he was talking about? Yeah, it is. So someone carved this one out. That's a flame. 
Is that supposed to signify something? Huh. It does look pretty cool. But it's uh it's just like scribblies on the floor. Uh Am I can I venture lower? Oh yeah, oh I can. Okay. But this is what he meant. Oh! The skeleton! This is like the one from uh Get up here, dude. Come on, I'm not gonna fight you down there in the fucking... Ugh. Ugh. Oh! Get up here. Get up here. Get up here. Oh, he could parry. He tried it. Well, at least he tried to. Uh, human effigy. Nice. Is there another one? I can hear it. It's this oh nice. Another another shard. Uh Soul Vessel. Soul Vessel. Hmm. Need to figure out what that is. There seems to be something broken here. Is that like a tapestry? It looks curved. Huh. It's just probably part it's just probably part of all decorations. Um I think that's it. Okay. Cool. I thought it was something more dangerous. I don't venture too further in inside, but it didn't seem so bad. Pickies! That golden skeleton did give me quite a bit of uh, XP though. I think like 700. It's not bad. What's down here? Okay, so they told me that the reason why fall damage is so high is because back then you used to be able to jump there really early on. And grab a whole bunch of good stuff. So they increase the fall damage because of it. Kind of dumb. Like a foresight, yeah, you guys could have figured that out. Or maybe put that pit a little bit more deeper so that you will still take some damage. Either or. Um, <clears throat> let's see if I can level up the. Oh, I'd give you up for day. I haven't been gone for that long, dude. Worried, really? Hmm. Buy items. No. Uh, reinforce weapon and armor. Okay, reinforce this thing. What do I need? Titanite shard? Yeah, it's not bad. Let's do it. Oh! 500. Okay, let's see if I can. Uh, I'll be around. Sure. Uh, I still gotta get used to that menu. I actually don't remember if Dark Souls 3 is like that. Let's use this. Um, 800. Oh, that's not bad. Okay, cool. Um, I will probably have to <clears throat> farm a little bit more so I can get more what? items. You again? Yes. Just for now, because uh, Air Force. Just for now, because the Estus flasks aren't cutting it for me right now. Uh, I need Titanite shards, and I need more one Titanite shard for a little bit more. And then just a bit more EXP. But I think he sells Titanic shorts, so it should be fine. Uh, what is this? Wanderer. Oh, this is my, the gear I have on right now. Wait. Oh. I'll be around. Mm -hmm. I'm like, can I sell my stuff? Because <laughs> there's, there's a few things I have on me that I, like, I, would, I would love to sell. It would actually help me out quite a bit. But, um, Shanalot? Is that, is that what your name was? Is that a shard you found? Here, let me see it. So that I'm to see light, however yes. faint it might be. Okay, this is the same. Upgrade. Yes, please. What was her name again? She said her name was Shanalot, right? Uh, what do I need? 
2,000? Yeah. <clears throat> level 30. Okay. Well, thanks for, uh... Thanks for everything, young lady. Now, I can go back to the punishment that I was just facing just a second ago, or I can go somewhere else. So, uh, there is another path this way. Maybe I should try a different path and then take on the pursuer later, because that's, uh... That's a very annoying fight, and uh, I, I don't want to deal with it. So, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go this way. <laughs> oh, contrast does not move. Okay, so I need an item to move it. Oh, so this whole room moves. Oh, it does move. See, it's got rails. That's pretty cool. Okay, well, let's go this way. I'm gonna try someplace different, because I don't want to face the pursuer right now. I know you guys like videos of uh, some youtubers getting their asses kicked but uh for me I, i'm like okay I, I, even when i play gacha games uh if i got to a position where like okay i'm just wasting my time uh i just stop i'm like i'm, I'm gonna just go do something else and come back later that's it you know i'm not gonna crimson parma what is that a shield yeah uh i'm not gonna rack my head around it spend hours trying to do something that I obviously can't do right now, you know? I had gone so used to how Dark Souls 1 ran that uh, getting used to this one's a little bit more a little bit more challenging for some reason. If you guys have played Dark Souls uh, oh, oh, so here's what it was. If you guys have played Dark Souls 2 in the past let me know if it's if it's a game thing or if it's a me thing. Because I don't want to make excuses. But the game does feel a little weird. <laughs> uh, so far, there's no enemies. It's a little, um, a little strange. I hope I don't get gang squad. What is this? There's nothing here? Oh. There's another lever here, but I can't. And there's a lever for... Oh, okay, so it closes after a while. Okay, then that... that. Okay, I get it. Hmm, that's a broken thief sword. Oh, man. oh, well, let's just go this way. I wonder what's over here. As you can see, like, even, even my life... Like, I took a human effigy and fought that thing. And my life... My... Is this an NPC? No, he's not saying anything. Looks like he's got an arrow in his eyes. He's got quite a bit of arrows. Uh, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just gonna leave you there, buddy. Pretty sure I'm pretty sure you're okay. This place looks cool. I don't know. I don't know. It looks like on Orlando there. That's a big fucking guy. There's a bonfire. No, 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 no. Come on, come on, light it. At least light it. Can I rest in it? Oh, nice. Alright, so I defeated this one enemy that was here. Uh, those guys are really annoying, but... This lever popped up. Alright, so, again, because uh, this is something unique and new. Let's just, uh, let's, let's just pop it up. Huh. Cool. Okay, so is that like a something I need to lock, unlock on the way to just make it over there? Interesting. What the hell is that thing? breathing huh. I'm gonna say this I, I I really don't like this place <laughs> oh man there's a lot of those guys all right you know what fuck this place and I don't mind it the place is actually pretty cool very beautifully designed but the, uh, the enemies have a lot of poise I remember when I first played Dark Souls 1 I, 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 I was feeling the same way I'm feeling right now that's why I don't want to judge this game too harshly. Because uh, I felt the same way when I first started Dark Souls 1. Like, I didn't know where to go. Like, like what's the best 
or the proper course of action I can take to move forward. So uh, that's why it's like again, the game feels clunky, etc. But I do want to give it a chance because I felt the same way before. Um, oh yeah, I I got this Pharaoh's Lockstone crap. Let's see it. Pharaoh's the vagabond was a legend who wandered the lands, creating contraptions to help those in sincere and dire need huh, that's kind of cool the scope of his travels was so wide that pharaohs has been mistakenly credited for many inventions that were crafted by others so basically he made stuff that helped people and then other people made stuff that helped people or didn't help people that were traps so that's not a that's not like a nice board of confidence there buddy uh, as for other stuff that I've gotten, uh, I didn't really get anything new. <laughs> uh, the main reason why I decided to come this way is because I needed it to gather stuff for, uh, what is this? Royal Guardsman's Armor. This looks pretty cool. Is it more heavier? It's like 11. Damn. Anyways, because uh, I need to grab a couple more souls so I can like upgrade my, my set. So I'm going to go do that. Alright, so quick question is. Uh, I haven't been farming long, but I just noticed like I could like you can't see him from this angle at all. <laughs> oh yeah, oh and I can see him from this angle. There's a boss there. Is that what the stage or like the arena's for? Just so you you can fight him. I haven't gone very far. <laughs> it takes me a long time to kill these guys for sure. But I wonder if I should just rush for the boss. Uh, let me check. Let me see what happens. I'm gonna probably gonna get crushed on the way there, but sorry about the noise <laughs> again. Like I said, it's like uh, it's Christmas Eve. Everybody's just getting ready for uh, Christmas. <laughs> All right. Oh, I got bashed in. All right. Let's see how hard this boss is. Let's go. like one hit at a time should be fine. The arena is not that small. I guess because I, ro I, ro I roast it. Oh, come on. <laughs> oh! Big fireworks. Oh no! Oh, I'm feeling here so bad. I can beat him though. This shouldn't be an issue. Uh, I just have to like skip the beginning enemies and it should be fine, <laughs> I guess. Again, sorry about the noise. Everybody's just like blowing out fireworks. It's Christmas Eve, so I keep saying that over and over. But uh, it's the truth. It really is. That's, that's really what's happening. Go away. <laughs> It's kind of cool that those lights don't attack me right away. I'm like, oh god, no! Stay away, stay away from me. The boss run isn't so bad either. As long as I can like dodge the initial enemies, it should be fine. And the boss itself doesn't seem very hard. I just have to stick to his his right, my left. <laughs> That's where the spears is. Well, I noticed like again, like the hitboxes seem kind of off. Again, I don't want to make excuses like, oh, that's why I'm losing. It's because the, the, hit, oh, really, uh, the hitboxes are really bad. But it, they do seem off, alright? Let me get my souls. Whoa. Two hits and I'm out. Oh. Drag 
Dragon Rider. Oh, now he's got his shield up. Now you got that shield up. What are you gonna do with it? Nothing. Huh. Since when are the... Since when is the boss easier than the enemies around me? Oh, that's a lot of souls! <laughs> Again, it's, it's, it's fireworks. At first I was like, what the hell's going on outside? Huh, that boss was a little easy. Dragon Rider? Huh. Uh, yeah. Again, like the the Haynes Knight, the, the ones that look like Templars are way harder than that boss. Uh, ah, yeah. Who are you? Are you from these parts? I'm not. My name is Lysia. Hmm. I have come to spread the art of miracles, a practice oh, of which I am a disciple. Mm hmm. I can see that you are well suited to comprehend their wondrous power. Uh, I don't know about that. But the cost of it, that's for your heart to decide. The cost, are you talking about like souls? I knew it. What do you got? <laughs> uh, what is this? Uh, ring of prayer, increases faith. Huh. Okay. Uh, oh, wow, she knows a lot of miracles. Okay. Uh. I'd heard awful rumors about this place, and I'm afraid they were all true. The king, gone. The earth, ravaged. The burden on the people weighs heavy. I fear that by now, they may have scarce room in their hearts for miracles. Why did I come here? Well... Do I need any other reason than to spread the gospel of miracles? She forgot why she's here. My preceptor always said this art should be shared with the world. And such is my only wish. That's something I noticed from like the map maker. Sometimes I fight the urge to pack up and go back home. Hmm. It is... Well... I must do this. And being out here all alone only makes this a more fitting test of my fortitude. Everybody's so loud outside. Yeah, like, uh, again, she's talking about her coming to this land and not remembering why. And that's something that they mentioned at the beginning of the game. I expected this cathedral to be bustling, but there's hardly a soul to be found here. Not enough to make profit, huh? Without any goings on, I'll have to move soon. <laughs> See? <laughs> I knew it. <laughs> to a place I could gull the... Called the gullible? Sorry. Help the gullible <laughs> by teaching the good word. <laughs> all right, all right, you're a con artist. I expected that okay. to a place. And Sorry. again, the, uh, her. No need for the gods. Yeah, I know. Uh, they did mention this at the very beginning of the game where they said um, that you will make it to Drang Lake and not know why. Hence, you don't you don't remember the reason why you're here. It fits perfectly. Man, it's so loud. Uh, I do, again, I shouldn't complain about this whole aspect that, oh, I gotta go back here in order to level up because Bloodborne did it. I didn't mind it. Dark Souls 3 did it. I didn't mind it. Uh, what was the other game? Uh, Demon Souls did it. I didn't mind it. So, again, that's just something that's like the staple now for this game. Did it, did it on Elden Ring? I don't think they did. I think you could just level up at the grace. Bearer of the curse. Seek souls. Oh. Seek lest this. Yes. Okay. Level up. <laughs> uh, level up. I'm going to increase this a little bit. Uh, endurance. At least to 12. Get this up here. Oh, I can level up quite a bit. Of oh, nice. Seven. Four times. And then that increases my stamina by a little bit. Uh, bigger goes up. Endurance. Uh, what increases my load oh it's vitality 46 so I'm 0.5 no point 1.5 and my poise goes up too hmm. Hmm. yeah let's do it oh god I'm poor again uh. oh hello there hmm. an honor to see you again why are you here <clears throat> this room is not as it seems there are two, not one, pathways leading out. Yeah, I kind of figured that. 
And only this lovely thing reveals the other path. Hmm. Cool. So what do you want? And this, you lovely thing, only runs on miracles. Oh, I call bullshit on that. Shall I provide you with one? <laughs> How much? Two thousand souls. Uh, shit. You know what I'm gonna do, lady? No need for miracles. No, I don't. The god. Yep. That's a lot of souls. She's a con artist. <laughs> she moved here and then saw like I think she has the key to the contraption that she's trying to monetize it. Fucking bullshit. Now from this tower. Oh, there we go. Please don't, please don't let it be like a locked door. <laughs> uh, okay, cool, cool. Okay, so it looks like I can continue going down. Yes, you're gonna. I was checking like if the other, the other side of the handrail that I don't led somewhere. Monastery charm. I think that lady's up to no good. I mean, there's always like a. Um. I we'll call it like a patches type of character in every Souls game. I know this game doesn't really have one, so I'm guessing if that's her. I, I don't know, like just the way that she uh, presented herself. I guess is the proper way to say it. Is that a great sword? I also found an extra Estes shard, so I, I have more Estes class now. These guys deal a lot of damage, but they're very squishy, which is uh, a plus plus for me. Uh, let me see. Let's go down here. Oh, wait. Before I go down there, there is another path to the right over here. Is there anything here? No enemies? No. Human effigy, dark trotches. Mm, Solar Proud Knight. Old Knight Halberd. Nothing? Okay. Let's check and see if like there were any... If there were any uh, illusionary walls. Illusion... Illusionary walls. I think that's what they're called. Let's see. I did level up a bit, not too much. I got my vitality up a little bit. The class I chose in the beginning of the game had really low vitality, so I started I had to pump more into that. It's an elevator. Hmm. I'll come back to this in a minute. That's gonna take me further, further down. I mean, I gotta get up to the pursuer again. I know, I, I, like, <laughs> but again, I, the, if you guys watched me, oh, what? That's one of these guys. If you guys watch my playthrough of uh, Dark Souls, the first one, you guys, you guys will know that. Ooh, that's it. Ooh. Yeah, he's dead. Oh, that was easy. Did you hear the fireworks outside? Like, oh, please, please, please don't let me do anything dumb. Okay, good. Uh, like, I started uh, recording because like the vol, like uh, Sublime Bone Dust, huh? Because um, there was actually no noise for a while. Like, oh, that's cool. I'm going to start recording then. See that? You hear that? <laughs> Fireworks. <laughs> oh, that's upsetting. I thought it was going to be quiet. Like, everybody's going to be home. Just No, you got to you gotta throw fireworks. Because uh, even, in, even in Christmas, they got to make noise. Not a big deal, but at the same time, it's, uh, it, it, you know. I can never find peace and quiet here. Yeah, let's see. So I made it down here. All right, let's see where this takes me. I was, I was like, my my fat rolling now is because of the water. Oh man, so you can't even see them in the water. They're like zombies, like. Or maybe you can't see them in the waters? Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> mm -hmm. 
Yeah, I think I said this in the Dark Souls uh, run throughs. Like those aren't their eyes. They're they're almost like pouches that they inhale, then they fill up with air, and that's basically how they like spit out their poison. It looks like there was a stone person there or statue. I can't get through those things yet. Okay, nothing here. So where's this gonna take me then? Where am I? This place looks kinda ominous. Ooh, bonfire. Yeah, light this. Light it. Alright. Ooh, wait, okay, hold up, where am I? No man's wharf. Okay, so I'm in a place called No Man's Wharf. Well, guess what? I'm not a man. I'm a hollow. Mmm. I thought I was gonna fall off there. Man, I can't see Jack. Oh, a little bit here and there. Huh. Oh! Who's firing? Oh, I see him. I wonder if his fire arrow can light this, like, this place right here. Hey, can you do a favor? Can you use that fire arrow to light this? Thank you. It didn't light it. That guy's gonna be annoying. Is there anything else up here? No. Even if I try see there's an enemy right there. Dude, you're right there. I saw him, he's right behind me. The enemies aren't I mean they deal a little bit of damage, but they're not difficult to beat. Whoa! Okay, so Alright. <laughs> they're not difficult to defeat. They they're actually two hits and they're in they're out. But they deal a lot of damage. And uh their kicks actually deal a lot of uh stamina damage. Uh this way, it's not a big deal. See that ring actually prevents my hit points from falling any further. That's nice. It's useless. Like later on in the in the future it's useless because you're gonna want a a ring that actually helps you, you know. You know what? Oh, he has an. Oh, oh God! <laughs> I almost fell. Give me this throwing knife. Okay, that's all. That's that's all you're good for, huh? So maybe I'm supposed to go this way? Because the enemies are falling pretty fast. Hmm. Large soul lost undead. Uh let's see. Oh. Okay then. I think like for regular exploration, I think using the SS class over the life gems is much better. The life gems are nice for like boss battles where you don't have much time in between. But the SS class actually heal you right away. Again, the... Oh no, fuck off. See, they die pretty easy. But they still deal quite a bit. Like if they hit you with like a combo, I think one of them had like a twin swords. They hit you with that combo, it's game over. Well, at least for me, because uh, I'm still kind of a soul of a proud knight. Nice. 
you know, like there was something like I've always I was always curious about when I was like starting out uh, Souls games. Like, oh, what's the the soul of the prior night? Like, who did it belong to? And I remember watching this video from a from a content creator called the Perry God, and uh, he actually did it like a short story of a the soul of a proud knight or the soul of a lot like lost undead. It was a pretty cool like the way he did it or like the way he he did that video. It's really cool. I'll try to provide a link down in the description below so you guys can see it. But that stuff is like it always amazes me. Perry God makes some really cool uh, soul skin. Uh, so it's like oh like souls videos <laughs> he did one for um what's the game called dark souls one two and three oh man okay fuck off that's what i mean like if this guy's catch you like in a combo because each hit staggers you you're stuck there I think it's kind of bullshit. <laughs> Dark pine resin. Sha. Nothing. Okay. I'm trying to get the hang of it. I'm trying to get the hang of this game. It's not bad. I I I, I don't hate it. Uh, I know that the whole aspect of the hit boxes is gonna start to kind of weigh on me a lot. But again. It's just about me needing to get good and then pushing on forward, you know? I'm not gonna give up. Oh, that's loud again. I'm not gonna give up for sure. I'm gonna keep going. I'm just gonna keep doing my best. Oh, what the? See that shit? I'm dead. Where did these guys come from? If this keeps going on, uh, I might have to like go with the shield. My friend's gonna like get mad, but see, it's like god damn dude, like once they hit you, it's like that's it. You can't even like dodge or like move away, it's getting really annoying. Dark Souls 1 didn't even have that. Like Jesus. Not even Dark Souls 3 has that actually. Which makes you very susceptible to enemies that can do a lot of uh, combos. It's uh, it's not good. I can do damn dog. There you go. Oh, I'm trying to think. Dude, I died really far away. That's cool. There you go. See, like on this part. Where did the other guy go? Oh, see, there he is. Where did he come from? Really? Ah, stupid dog. <laughs> I love dogs, except that one. Alright? I can hate a few dogs. And the one that barks every time I'm, I'm recording. Alright? Aside from that, all dogs are pretty cool. Here, dog. Where is he? Yeah, this game feels really clunky. I like it. It's like I, I still like it. It's got its charm, but damn, dude, it, it can get kind of annoying real quickly here. <laughs> All right. It's like three of them, I think. Whoa, it's got like a stretchy arm. Alright, there goes the first one. Radiant life gem. Oh, they drop a specific... Where's the next one? Alright, get over here, dude. I'm not gonna fight two of you. Really? Yeah, they're not hard. 
But if they hit you with that bleed, it's game. It's GG. Two hits does it. Whoa. He attacked me and he missed. I was right in front of him. I was like, oh man, I'm done. I got, I'm getting hit. And he missed. Alright, go away. Okay. Alright, I'm not gonna be as careless as to like run in there at first. Alright, come here, come here. Come here, asshole. You're coming down here. Okay, so one. Okay, that's cool. Alright, there goes one. And then there's one more up there. There we go. I forgot that the that this sword has like a stabby. Stabby, stabby. Right, it has this. No oh, man, it's so dark here. What does this do? Oh, it rings a bell. Oh, is that gonna attract enemies? Nothing. Okay. Is that it? Oh, it called the ship. I actually like these kind of ships. They're pretty cool. The schooners. That's cool. Two life gems, two homework wants. Do I keep going down? I guess I keep going down. Oh, go this way. There's two of them here. Oh, I can backstab him. Oh no. I didn't know that. You could actually backstab these things. That's uh that's interesting. See you later, loser. I should be careful by talk is that my every time I talk trash, I regret it. What the What is it like the Terminator? What are you? No no. Not the Terminator, what are they called? The the Predator. Yep, there we go, the Predator. That guy was a little uh, scary. Damn. <laughs> the, the reason why I said damn is I can't see shit. Oh my god, dude, you're this guy, huh? He's gonna be that guy. I see a dog. There we go. I'm poisoned. Oh man. Uh, do I have anything? Yes, this. Use. Oh, that was bad. Fragrant. What? Oh man. <laughs> This item is pretty, like, this game, I get it, when it comes to, like, a lot of the mechanics in this game, this game can get pretty bad. Oh, there it is. Uh, fragrant Branch of Yore. Restores living things from petrification. Oh, so this is the item. But it's a consumable. So, well, yeah, because that one weird lady at, uh, what's it called? Hmm. At Majula? 
Yeah, a Majula. She sells one. So. I thought it was like a key item. I didn't buy it at first. It's like, oh, it's 12,000 fucking souls. I'm like, yeah, I don't have that. Hmm. I should be careful here. Oh, actually, I gotta equip this. What's that sound? Oh, it's one with twin swords. Okay, let's go. Oh my god, really? Oh, he even slid forward. Is that a dog? God, and no, I'm not gonna mess with the dog. Let me let me talk to whoever this is. This character reminds me of like Vampire Hunter D with that with a uh, with a hat. Looks cool. What is it? Oh, it's a woman. I don't know you, and you don't know me. Nope, we just met. Things are better that way. Hmm. <laughs> you are an odd one. Thank you. Normally, people I keep a that a lot. distance when they see this mask. Really? I think you. it looks cool. I'm called Lucatil. Lucatil. From the name. land of Mira to the far east. Oh, Mira. Across the mountains. They say Drang Lake brims with powerful souls. And so I came to claim my share. Hmm. But what a strange place. Even the rumors did not prepare me. Mm. You are an odd one indeed. I've always made a point of avoiding people. Well, you've made a point of engaging me. You I can see cool. that you are mid-journey. If you require assistance, I will help you. Cool. I come from Mira, a land of knights. My sword is always ready. Don't hesitate to call upon me. Whatever happens, I won't be missed. Oh, that's not nice <laughs> to say. You are an odd one while well, you've made it. I can see okay. I come from don't hesitate. Okay. So I guess I can summon her. You seem pretty cool, Lucatil. I'm really bad at names, but I'll, I'll always remember yours. All right. Hopefully the sound is like it might start again, but All right, 2000 souls. Speak up if you're in need of miracles. All right, don't be rude. That's why I'm here after all. Of course. Uh, move the path. Because I already unlocked the other side. So here you go. <laughs> I see what she's doing. So she wants me to pray, but she, she... She made the... She flipped the switch. And made it look like go it's ahead. a... Like it's a miracle. But, uh... We all know that ain't true. May the power of miracles be with you. Mm -hmm. Offer your souls to the gods. Uh huh. Anyway, as you can see, my SS plus is plus one. I di I did use an item. I, I didn't know what it was for. <laughs> uh, it had a pretty cool description. It talked about a saint that threw himself into the fire in order to enhance the capabilities or the. Oh man, this place looks weird. Uh, capabilities of the bonfires is as uh, sadly we cannot ask ashes and bone the truth or the details for they cannot tell a story it's kind of cool it's kind of like a nice cool description actually um, when I was in uh, no man's wharf uh, I was trying to retrieve all those souls and I died on the way there so I got mad so I know so I came here who the hell is this I don't know who you are, but believe me, be the frailty of the weak disrupts the dark. The dark. Still. Leave me alone. I'm interested in one thing, dark, and you haven't the gift. Oh, I see. Leave me and I'm in. All right, fuck you then. All right. <laughs> uh, Huntsman Copes. I was about to say 
Huntsman Corpse, but it's Corpse. Strange name. Anyways, I guess this bit is just me running around, just doing random stuff. <laughs> uh, so it might be a, a bit a little bit longer than normal, but uh. Okay, so you guys don't. don't oh, I see you. I see you. Uh. Also, if you're wondering, hey, XL, you have a fucking shield. What is that crap? All right, well, I'm not good. All right, this game is just, it's just weird. All right, once I start getting used to the mechanics, because I'm going to say this, the mechanics of this game, is that poison? It's poison. The mechanics of this game are really weird, all right? They don't function, like, even though I didn't do that in uh, Dark Souls 1, like, go shieldless. At least the mechanics were a little bit more responsive than in this one. It just feels weird. I'm not trying to make an excuse, but... Come on, let's be real here. They're... They're weird, alright? They just feel strange. Now, let's see. Oh. Oh, I saw you. See, this is why I started wearing a shield, because, like, some enemies will attack, like, a lot. Especially in No Man's Wharf. That shit got annoying. And then the archers, man. Fucking archers got annoying. <laughs> Alright. Where's the exit? Come on, get out. Get out. Get out of there. Because I'm going to get poisoned. Oh, God. Heal. Sometimes uh, that, that will happen as well. Like, like I'll click the, like, the rub button or something. And he won't react. I hope it's not. Uh, I'm hoping it's just like my controller. Like, oh, he's got the bonker. Ooh, ooh. Bam! Okay, so I can't. I can't even get to him. Unless I probably fall down there. Maybe I can get to him. Oh, come on. Like, you know what? I want to know how much strength you must have to, like, just literally just hang out there. Oh, neither. Oh, that was fucked up. Oh, they did it. I told them not to do it. Oh, they pulled the whole fucking Code Vein thing. God damn it. Look at that. No fucking asshole. <laughs> Uh, crack red eye orb. It's a PvP item. Oh god. Let me guess, I gotta run this way and then jump across. Okay. Oh god. Oh man, I missed the item, didn't I? Ugh! Ah, uh, oh well. I did see the bonfire up there. Where am I? Where is that sound? You see that butterfly? Oh no. It says something monastery charm and I've got something else I, I couldn't see because I thought the poison was going to come down on me. There's a fire there. Oh. Was I supposed to go that way? 
And again, I know my stamina is pretty low, that's why it runs out really fast. So that's another big oops on my part. I think I chose the wrong class. <laughs> I chose this class because like it had dual swords, and I was planning on not going shieldless on this one. Just, but I don't know how the I don't know how the mechanic works properly on this game. Is that the ground? Oh, what is that thing? Is that a giant basilisk? It is. I wasn't prepared for that. Oh, oh I found a different location because I died on the way to my souls again. <laughs> I actually fell off the cliff. Oh my god. Damn. No! Damn, the camera started acting up. No move. Oh, there you go. oh, what the? He still has life left. What was that? Oh, I, th I think he tried to backstab me. But... Okay. What the hell is that thing? Is that a whip? It is a whip. Okay, well. Okay, I don't know where I'm at. So I guess I climb down here. Come here. Poison, moss, and life gem. Where am I? Oh, this is where that one guy climbed down and tried to kill me. I'm gonna take some damage climbing out of here. God, yep, I knew it. Alright, let's go. There's two hanging guys here. Come on, dude, I know you're here. This guy died with two hits. Why did the other guy need three? Alright, climb up. I can try to take out that basketball skin, or can you just or I can just keep just keep going. Hey. <laughs> He's gonna climb up again. Come on, come on, dude. Really? You just forgot about me. Ah. See, that's where I fell off. <laughs> My soul is still there. <clears throat> okay, so the bonfire was here. I should have just activated this thing. That way I, don't have, I wouldn't have to have done that all that crap over and over again. Alright. Yeah, it's a little cheap, but... I don't know what would happen if I got... First. So, it's gonna be a while. Alright, got him. Dude was like a, the vein of my existence for a bit. Alright, where's my sword? Is there anything else in here? Oh, it's you. Okay. 
The good thing is that I killed most of them. Most of those. Radiant life gem. Oh, nice. Or Titan, I shot. Nice. Uh, item box. What is it? Ricard's rapier. Huh. Wasn't he... The warrior... Oh, no, no. The warrior... The warrior king or something? I fought him in a... Uh, What's that play in uh, Sans Fortress? Where do I go from here? That dude is. That sucks. Okay, give me a second. He did drop something. Poison moss. Okay, so I had to warp out of that section there with the giant basilisk. Uh, but I think I'm going to call it good for this episode. Uh, I got a taste of like all the little sections I can go into. The pursuer continues to uh, pursue me <laughs> in that aspect. Uh, I did uh, get into No Man's Wharf which was a little bit annoying but uh, i think i can conquer that area relatively easy i just gotta get used to the mechanics of the game again i had to go into a shield i didn't want to do that but uh this game it just feels a little different uh it's, it's i will count it points against it but uh well you know how it is uh, i also found heinz uh tower of flame it's pretty cool uh, I couldn't get past the dragon because I, I, I got bashed up by a lot of enemies at once. So it was kind of hard to take out the dragon. The dragon doesn't seem hard to kill, actually. It has a pretty predictable attack pattern. It's just the enemies around it. And then again, the last area was Huntsman Copes. Huntsman Copes was the last area I think I kind of like went into to kind of check. So there are different little paths here and there. I just think that the only area that doesn't have a lot in it is... Uh, it's like Heinz Tower of Flame. It's the only one that doesn't have much in it. It's just I gotta defeat the dragon, lower the bridge, and that's it. Unless there's something underneath that giant castle looking place, then. Uh, then we'll see once we get there. But different different little sections here and there in order to see. Uh, oh man. That's a lot easier than I thought it was going to be. Petrified Dragon Bone and Watch Dragon Parma. Hmm. Doesn't this place look like on Orlando? Looks pretty cool. Oh well. I unlocked it. Uh, there seems to be something over here. Let me use this. Oh, wait, hold up. I got this. Uh, the black and white contrast depicts the ebb of flow of the fate of all, of all things living. And the serpentine dragon that watch over the march of time. The bearer of the shield will be blessed by great fortune in battle. Oops. Uh, it has quite a bit good resistances. Lightning, dark, fire, magic. Doesn't have good resistance to poison and bleed, but that's fine. Mm, the other rest of the stuff seems pretty good. It's pretty heavy though. Uh, that's a nice one. My roll's not that different. Old Radiant Life Jam. Uh, cool item. What am I getting? 
Uh, human effigy. Oh, I got five. Wow. Okay, cool. All right, let's go in there. <sighs> oh, is that orange sign? It is. What does that dark magic? That's cool. It is, but his armor is black. Man, his, his attacks break voice. Oh god. Oh, that was cheating. <laughs> Alright, round two. Let's go. I'm grabbing this. Caught me by surprise last time, buddy. But not this time. Oh, that's... Gotta be careful with that upper uh, upper thrust. That's what the deals most damage. Let's see. Shut yeah, fucking guard, man. That was like the small attack. What the? Oh, all they did was just like reuse the, uh, the animation. Oh. Uh oh, I'm out of healing items. Ah, huh. the one attack didn't do much damage. There. Bam. Oh. Oh. Oh, I gotta get I, I, I gotta heal. Old Dragon Slayer Soul and the old Leo Ring. This is why I had to like jump over here. Cause the enemies are like still coming in here. 
27,000. Ooh, that felt good. That's a lot of souls. I did promise I was going to end the video, but I couldn't do it. All right, guys. I, I, I just couldn't end the video like that. Like, only one boss for, like, I don't know how long. Oh. Yes. So, that's why I couldn't do it. It's like, okay, you know what? I got to at least defeat another boss. You know, I can't, I can't let you guys hang in like that. Like, just one boss per video. I don't know how many bosses are in this, in this game. I got to do something, you know? Uh, I knew there was not gonna be anything else. Okay, I'm taking this because uh, even though I like that shield, yes. Can I have that shield? Clerics, Parma, and Tower Shield. Oh, another shield. Okay, and what's in here? Uh, Crack Blue Eye Orb. Okay. So what is this place? See, is this? Is it supposed to be on Orlando? No, not really. Is it? All right, you. Who are you? Transient being. I like your armor. This is no place for one such as you. I don't know what transient be means. Be gone. You are not needed. Yeah, that's uh, okay. Transient being. You would never make a knight of the blue, and I have nothing more to say. You're just gonna be, be a gone. dick. gone. You are not needed. Transient be you would never make a night be gone. Nice fuck you then. Alright, I'm gonna go back over here. Uh I did get a lot of souls though. I got I didn't wanna end the video with just like one boss, like the the, the dragon rider. I had to defeat someone else. And it was cool that it was like like a nice little callback to uh Orange sign there. Actually, you know what? I did get his soul. Let's let, let's look at it. Let's see what it says. Old Dragon Slayer Soul. Uh, the Old Dragon Slayer is a reminiscent of a certain knight that appears in old legends. That's it? I'm a little disappointed. <laughs> uh, I did get shields, so let's look at them. So I got the Cleric's Parma Shield. Uh, Parma used by clerics in the, on pilgrimage. Uh, enchanted with a somehow fragile blessing that allows spells to be deflected by parrying. That's cool. Unfortunately, the shield provides very little physical defense and is more of a lucky charm than a proper shield. That's unfortunate. <laughs> and then the tower shield, which is this one. Um, a metal gray shield, very heavy and requiring great strength to handle, but provides excellent defense. One requires strength to handle a gray shield, but they are very Oh, but they are very stable and in battle No, in battle one fights using shield dash instead of parrying. Okay, so you can't parry with this one. That makes sense though. It's a giant shield um, Overall that's it. Oh, and I got the leader ring Hold up. Um, The beloved ring the beloved ring of a dragon slaying knight strength trust weapon counterattacks hence parrying or yeah parrying after many years of use, the ring's face has worn down, but close inspection reveals an engraved lion. Old Leo ring. I do. I actually do like that little nod back to uh, um, to Ornstein. Going back to Majula. Okay, now I can properly end the video. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna give you guys like that long explanation of everything that I usually do at the end of the video. So. Again, I just didn't want to end the video with, you know, me not achieving more. So, that should be it, guys. I hope you like this video. If you do, please like and share. If you like a lot, please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time. Take care, guys.